Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brave Soul video. So today we have a prediction video for the upcoming mid-month banner which is getting announced in around 10 hours as of me uploading this video. So as always, if you guys have a prediction, leave in the comments below and then we can come back to this video in around 10 hours and see if we got any of them right. And surprise, surprise, some people do. Last month, someone actually called all three characters for White Day, which is kind of insane. So this time, however... I think most of us are going to have the same prediction. And the main reason because Caleb did something different this month. Now, normally when we go into prediction banners, we have no idea what we're going to get. And this time, however, it should be because as you can see on the screen right now, I, I made a video around a week ago. And I did a banner prediction timeline. Now, for this, uh, isn't confirmed what could be coming. But for the most part, I think it's almost entirely accurate. Again, Caleb could always change things up. They could put a random banner for a mid-month or end-of-month banner. But I feel like they're going to follow this pattern. Minus a few of them might change around depending on how Caleb want to handle things. For example, the end-of-month banner is definitely going to be a limited-time banner. Whether it's Thousand Year Blood War or it's going to be a Parasol banner. The reason why I say this is because, like I said in that video, is that... Last year, in April, we got Parasol for the end of month banner. However, last year, we didn't have Thousand of Bloodwork characters in rotation again, like new, new characters. So this time, since it's Golden Week, Caleb might want to profit a bit, and they might throw in a Thousand of Bloodwork banner for Golden Week slash end of month for April. And that means Parasol could get pushed back to end of month of May, where it did happen two years ago. Two years ago, uh, end of month of May was Parasol. So again, April's end of month can go either way. It's either going to be Parasol, or it's going to be Thousand of Bloodwork. Now, if it is Thousand Blood War, I don't think it's going to be Stern Riches. I think it's going to be uh, maybe the last few Sorry Per Characters we need to get before we move on to the Stern Riches. And then for the anniversary, we're going to get Thousand Blood War. And that's where they're going to introduce Stern Ritter characters. But that aside, again, this is, we ain't talking about the end of month April. We're talking about the mid month. So mid month this time is, and it should be, a premium banner. Now, my prediction going into premium banners, you can't really guess what characters it could be. Like, you really can't. You could say the rest of the visors, maybe another Fierce Battle. Banner, maybe Orihime and friends, maybe Tatsuki will finally get a five star summon of a character. You can never really guess from premium banners because they can be so random. However, this time, since Caleb might have left a little hint in the event orders, and I know a few people have been talking about it, as we've been talking about on stream for a while now. Basically, the overall theory for most people is that the mid month banner is going to be another Ichigo, a Kugo, and a Byakuya. Now, the reason for this is because whenever a new banner drops, we always have these event orders where it says use that character 25 times. For example, we got the new Shinji, Lupi, and Grimjow, and they want us to use those five characters 25 times, I believe. In addition to that, there's also three more characters they want us to use, and I believe this one lasts an entire month, so until the end of the month, where coincidentally, the mid-month banner should end with all the individual banners, because we are probably going to get individual banners, even for a premium banner. And those three characters, obviously, are Kugo, Ichigo, and Byakuya. Now, the thing I find interesting about this is that it's not three random characters. It's not like they said play with Yuha, play with Orihime, and play with Aaron Yolo. They didn't say those three characters. They said Kugo, Byakuya, and Ichigo. Those three have a relation to each other because they're all in the TLA arc, right? And that's why I feel like we're going to see tomorrow. We're going to have another TLA banner. It's going to feature an Ichigo, probably the one on screen right now, or the one uh, where he has, like, the white armor. Or it very well could be just another TLA Bankai uh, remake of Ichigo. It could go either way, but nonetheless, we should probably see an Ichigo, which is kind of mad because we literally, the last premium banner, four months ago, by the way, was an Ichigo. So <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that we might see another Ichigo for another premium banner. That's quite mad. Uh, obviously, for Kugo, it could go either way. It could be his um, the one with the white hair. It could be the one that we have right now. Ah, uh, I don't know how they're going to do that, actually. It could be one where he doesn't take Ichigo's powers. I really don't know how they're going to handle Kugo if Kugo does get a new character. And then for Byakuya, uh, a long-awaited TLA Byakuya remake. I mean, that's understandable, right? Same goes for Ruki and Renji. I'm sure they're going to eventually come one day in the future. Now, if it's not those three, I have no idea what it could be, and we're completely wrong in this video. But my guess is those three characters. It's going to be a TLA banner, and it's going to be announced tomorrow. Now, also to back it up, because some people could say we're kind of stretching with this event order thing. Um, it has happened in the past, not in Bleach Brave Souls, but in other games. More specifically, Dragon Ball Legends. They also did this, where they had an event order, or they call it monthly orders. And it said play as female characters. So, obviously, people in that game, myself included, we all thought, oh, we're probably going to get a female banner. This was in February, so they normally like to release uh, female banners for Valentine's Day. So, it kind of made sense why they were saying to play as females in the monthly orders. And surprise, surprise, for Valentine's Day, we did get a new female 
which was Android 21. So it's happened in the past in other games. I know this isn't a Bandai game, but it could potentially happen here too. And that's my prediction for today. Kugo, Ichigo, and Byakuya. So if you guys have a different opinion to that, because I'm sure most of us think it's going to be those three, let me know in the comments below. We'll come back to this video in around 10 hours time and we'll see if we got them right. So I'll see you lads in the next one. Peace.